my dear students i am rocha ma'am and welcome to my channel well today we are going to learn something very different in our english class we are going to know about the millennial lingo this is the language that is spoken by the present generation that is known as the gen z so and yes of course i don't belong to that generation so i don't know the meanings of most of the words that's why i have a very special guest with me today she is my sister ray and she is going to tell us the meanings of all these words that are spoken by the generation z though the millennials and the gen z are different but whatever it is this language is very interesting and super cool okay so before i start let me introduce you to my dear sister ray ray the camera is on my viewers are watching please put your phone down and say hi hi hey ronja what's the tea what what tea i mean Yeah, I have Darjeeling tea. I have green tea. You want some? What are you saying? <sighs> what's the tea means? What's the gossip? I heard something has happened in your school, so I asked, "What's the tea?" And what are you saying, Darjeeling herbal green tea? God, what? What's the tea means? What's the gossip? <laughs> okay. Yep, you can also say. spill the tea that means the same what's the gossip <laughs> for me spill the tea is you have spilled the tea and i have to clean it anyways but let me tell you i have also done my homework my dear students let me tell you the next one the next one is fomo f o m o that is fear of missing out you know the gen z the present generation they don't want to miss out on anything so they say fomo like let me give you an example i have fever but my fomo brought me to the party hey now we say jomo jomo is in you know jomo means the joy of missing out like today i didn't check my insta account sheer jomo god Ma'am, you take so long to understand. And if you could please hurry, whatever questions you have, just shoot, ask me because I have to binge watch. So at least for two to three hours, you will not disturb me, right? What? Binge watch? What's that? I will binge watch my favorite web series. You don't know what is binge watch. Binge watch means when you watch the episodes one after the other, back to back, not one episode this week and next episode next week, the way you do. Oh God, you know Ronja, this hero of my web series, he's just killing it, man. So it's a murder mystery. Hell no. Killing it means when you are doing. exceptionally well like you do something extremely well and you say i killed it so when someone does exceptionally well you kill the person wow yep you can also say he slayed it and to slay you don't need a sword you slay it when you do extremely well exceptionally well like you slay it and your video will break the internet now before you ask let me just tell you the answer break the internet means it will become very very popular but hey in order to do that you need to keep it 100 what i need to make a 100 videos no oh god you need to be honest that is what it is to keep it 100 means you need to be honest about yourself about others k okay, no cap what no cap what cap oh god whatever i say she asks me what is that no cap means 
I am not lying. Okay? God, she doesn't know anything, I tell you. Listen, for your kind information, I work very hard, okay? And my viewers love my videos. Your viewers like your videos. <laughs> Said no one ever. What? Said no one ever means whatever you said was absolutely absurd. Not true. Totally false. Like your viewers love your videos. Your students love your classes. Said no one ever. Anyways, enough for today. I got a bounce. Got a bounce. I know bounce back. What is got a bounce? Listen, when you have to leave a place quickly, you say, I got a bounce. K? What's K? K? Can you say OK? Two letters, OK. But why should I say OK? Two letters, when I can just say or type just one. K? K. By the way, you know, your students will love this video. It's lit. Oh, you don't know the meaning as usual. It's lit mean amazing. So when something is amazing or cool, you say that it's lit. So your viewers will say, this video is lit. Really? You think so? Thank you. Obviously, because of me. Okay. Anyways, that's it for today. My dear students, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do click the like button and share this video with your friends. And do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. See you soon with part 2 of the Gen Z English. I got a bounce.